I'd like to make this update video to <clears throat> changing the band on a uh, QIC cartridge. And um, I've come up with a method that I think works a little bit smoother. Let's find out if it really does. Um, one of the hard things that I struggled with before was uh, the tension on this tape didn't stay on while I was trying to thread the band through. So I came up with the idea of just um, securing this with some scotch tape temporarily. Just like this, <clears throat> where I just tape that, it doesn't touch the, the, uh, the magnetic tape itself. The scotch, you know, uh, adhesive tape is just sticking right there, just like that, no problem. And let's put a little bit on the other side without allowing that to get too tight. And uh, definitely without allowing anything to touch here on the edge of the uh, of the tape. Now, another idea I had is you see this this um, uh, the sticky part of the scotch adhesive tape is about to touch the edge of this. Well, I, I want to be so protective of this because you know it's the only tape that we have with this data or program on it. So I uh, I thought of the idea of having a little bit of a buffer here about like this where I a little bit of a buffer here about like this where I put another piece of tape face down on that so now this part of the of the tape is not sticky at all and that way it insulates um, the uh, the magnetic tape from any from the sticky part of uh, the adhesive scotch tape right there and still allows me to secure that I suppose I could do that one first Before doing this one that might be a little bit easier but either way right now I have successfully um, made this not too tight right but I've secured these so they don't roll so now I should be able to go through the painstaking process of a little bit easier of actually um, <clears throat> putting this band on isn't that great and um, I thought I've tried a couple of different ways. I, I read on one of our um, vintagecomputer.com forum posts that these things were actually stamped out of a flat piece of PVC. And you can kind of see that because on, on some of these, one edge seems to be tighter than the other. Well, and so if it was at once flat and then, and then um, was stretched out and rolled onto this as part of the manufacture process at 3M or whatever um, factory did that, then you can see that this has a tendency to roll this way, but not so much this way. So I'm taking advantage of that um, since this has a tendency to slip off the bottom side, which is dif more difficult to deal with than slipping off the top side. So I'll put the, the, tighter, the tighter end um, towards the top instead of towards the bottom. So hopefully that made sense, and you can actually see that here in the video. Something else I thought I'd try is securing this. I don't actually have a, a table with a clamp. I'd like a table with the clamp, but I don't have one of those right now. So I'm just going to use more scotch tape, this kind of scotch tape, and I'm going to tape this to my table. Maybe secure that a little bit so it doesn't slide around quite as much, just temporarily and see how that works out for me. This wider tape seems to work nicely. It's one of my favorites actually. All right, I'll secure it over at this corner as well and see how that does. <clears throat> okay, so now once again, figure out which, which end is tighter here. It looks like it's this end right here now, on this side. So I'll put that towards the top. Tricky. I, I was, I've been thinking about building a tool that does this a little bit easier, but I haven't come up with one yet. It's just a process that requires patience and diligence, I guess. Okay. So there it is, the narrow end, tighter end towards the top of this. And see if I can stretch this out without, yeah, there we go. 
So now I think I've stretched this out without um, causing anything. No uh, twisting. That's what I wanted to say. No twisting. Okay, so now put this on there like that. And this goes a little bit better. From the last time I got a suggestion from somebody to always use um, uh, bamboo chopsticks instead of uh, metal tools. That way I'm not tempted to accidentally that way I'm not tempted to accidentally um, bring over a magnetized metal tool to the tape here. So just slip that over the edge. Now that's holding fairly steady. All right, so I am going to, I think I'll start with this one. I'm going to grab this one right here and gently move that over. And yes, the process is fairly arduous and it just takes patience. <clears throat> but I'm by no means an expert. So you guys that have done hundreds of these, like Al, is probably laughing at me right now, but that's okay. I'm trying. See, so now it's slipping off the top edge, which evidently can be just as bad. Okay. And I'm going to hold this right here so that as I lift this up, it doesn't pull off. Now that I've gotten this wrapped around this edge very nicely, I'm going to hold this right here with my finger as I pull this wheel up and over the pin. There we go. Now, I think I've gotten it. And I think we're ready for the final wheel right here. So I'm going to put that in place. This is the easier one because this has the lip still on it. This reel has the lip uh, still exposed because there's not as much tape on it. And so the belt uh, doesn't slip off nearly as easily. So, try this. This band seems to be tighter than some of the others that I've worked with. So hopefully it's not too tight. There we go. That was actually fairly difficult. Now, I've pulled a little bit on this. That's okay. Um, you know, it's another reason that I made sure that I wound the tape this way as much so that I was into the leader area here without going too far so that in the event that I did accidentally stretch this some uh, I'm not doing any damage to any of the data at least that's the theory now um, there's a slight wrinkle here that I can see because I can see this on the side unlike the view of the camera but I'm going to try to mitigate that let's pull these off and see what happens Pull that away, just temporarily, in case I need it back. Pull this away, just temporarily, in case I need it back. Okay, so now I should be able to release the tension here, or I should, yes, release the tension here by doing this, and then um, take up some of the slack here on this that I created. And there we go. Now. I think I've done it. Let's find out. See if it rolls smoothly. I'm going to go this way first because I saw that there was a slight wrinkle almost beginning to form and I didn't want to pinch it underneath the belt so I want to move the tape this way. And um, it's looking pretty good. This is having a tendency to ride up but once I put the once I put the cover on that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think this is going to be ready to poo, uh, to untape it from the table and put the cover back in and give it a try. And uh, I think it's going to work pretty well. So um, let's find out. Thanks for watching.